and welcome to the MPD, the Motor Power Depot at Bridge North. I'm Leslie Carr and I've come today to meet a group of volunteers who are back here, one of our early groups that have come back and they have their work cut out to get the place ready for our furlough staff who are coming back in next week. Lots to do. Andy, a bit of a, an unusual thing going on here. It is. It's, uh, it's great to be back here, but um, there's no canteen open this weekend, so we thought we'd start the, the weekend with a bit of breakfast for all the guys by helping out here today. This is obviously the traditional way of uh, cooking bacon and eggs on a uh, steam locomotive. We don't have a steam locomotive in service, but we do have the cottage in service, so we're using the fire in here with a bit of bacon and eggs. Any special techniques involved here, Andy? Well, I wouldn't say it's a technique, but it always helps to start with a little bit of oil. You want lard, ideally, because it, uh, it burns a bit hotter so uh, it doesn't smoke off, but you can see that the shovel's smoking already. Um, the trick really is that you want the, uh, the egg to cook rather than to burn. So you want it a little bit away from the fire, the, the shovel right in the fire there, that'll be really hot and that'll probably just cook too quickly. And how does it taste? So it tastes an awful lot better than it looks. One of the problems with cooking with coal is you get the coal smuts around it, so you get the, the black around it, which if you think um, in home fires when people cook with coal, they tend to put the coal in a stove, and so you don't get the, the smuts around it. Um, but actually it tastes amazing. <laughs> it's probably one of the nicest breakfasts you'll, you'll eat. I'm tempted. <laughs> ah, is this Chad Oliver's kitchen? It is. There you go, sir. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much indeed. Tracklemans. Marvellous. here to do today is just essentially start to get the shed ready to open again so we've got to fill the wood pile up um, all the enders are going to need you know, wood to get the fires going in the morning so we've got to get that all ready for when the uh, trains come back uh, we're filling up the coal pile um, again we need coal to run the, run the service so we've got to put that uh, in the right place so we can get at it um, and then so eventually we'll get on to a bit later this afternoon we'll start getting the engines cleaned down and just make and start getting them presentable for service again so what's going to be kicking off next week then so next week we've got the in the middle of the week we've got the engineering services uh, pay staff coming back so that's going to be these engines haven't moved for months so they're going to need a lot of just checking over to make sure that nothing's seized making sure that all the bits still rotate freely um, and we're just they're going to need a, a thorough check thorough check over um, and then eventually they'll have steam tests so they'll be lit up for the first time, uh, to make sure that everything nothing's broken before we haven't been here. So in this place has been all shut up for all these months. What's it like coming back here for the first time today? That's oh, brilliant. Um, apart quite apart from this, it was the bit of the stuff that you get to do here, sort of the work and the place and all that sort of thing. It's so nice just to see the people again. Because these are all uh, this, I've heard it said that the Seven Valley volunteers, it's kind of a club or a family that you're all, that you're all part of. And it's so nice to come back and see all these guys that you haven't seen for months either. So you know, while, while, it's been, while it's been nothing going on here, you, you're, we've, I've really missed it. I know that I've speaking to a lot of the guys this morning, we've all missed it as well. So um, yeah, it's really great to be back. So we've got a busy few weeks ahead. Um, how, how are you feeling about that? Uh, again, I can't wait. Um, it's frustrating that we can only get a limited number of people on site at the moment because there's, so there's going to be such a lot to do um, but yeah I'm, I can't wait to throw myself into this um, it's been too too long without trains. I've not been here since the beginning of March I missed it very much indeed and although there are other things to do at weekends nothing quite quite beats being at the Seven Valley. What's the mood like here today? Uh, optimistic very very happy uh, people are delighted to be back they're like we're still going um, we know we have a difficult road ahead, but I think with everybody pulling together, we will get through this and um, uh, we will survive and prosper. Everybody's pleased to be back, or overjoyed really, I think it's probably better, um, and just excited to get started again really. Um, but you know, it's just a bit different because there's less of us around. Well, you've got a lot to do in the weeks ahead. Yeah, there's, uh, <laughs> I think we're going to be busy for a, for a wee while actually. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so there's, there's all sorts of things to do, lots of checks and all that sort of thing to do just to make sure everything is as it should be. And what, how personally are you going to be involved in all that? What are you going to be doing? Uh, all manner of things, essentially whatever management tells us needs doing. <laughs> um, so today we've got a big list of jobs that we've got to get done and then sort of every few days that gets renewed and we'll just keep ticking them off until, uh, until we're ready. 
So a real sense of optimism and excitement in the air here today. Lots to do before we can open up the railway again. We'll be putting out more videos in the coming weeks to show you different aspects of what's going on here. So please leave us a comment below, hit the subscribe button, and please make a donation to the SBR's Fight Fund at sbrtrust.org.uk. See you next time.